A controversial statue that many say is offensive and oppressive may never see the light of day again. KPI X5's Marie Medina is in San Jose with the fate of a statue that has sparked debate for 30 years. Our voice matters. My voice matters. After nearly 30 years of public outrage, San Jose city leaders voted to remove the Thomas Fallon statue. And this week, the city's public art committee voted to make sure it's never seen in San Jose again, except inside a storage facility. I'm grateful that they took action, but um, it shouldn't have taken this long. This is a symbol of the hate against young black, indigenous, and people of color. From the day the statue was unveiled, San Jose residents voiced their objection, saying it symbolized colonialism and racism. But supporters argued it represented our history. I think hiding it in a storage facility doesn't make any sense. City leaders now disagree. They discussed whether to melt it down, but say it wouldn't come close to covering the $150,000 to remove it. I'm not saying that individuals cannot you know, enjoy that statue. Peter Ortiz but, uh, says it's a moment in history that could have its place in a museum, but not in a prominent location of San Jose. We sent a message saying, like, this is our land, um, and you know, thanks to the conquering of Native and Indigenous uh, people, um, our downtown uh, San Jose and the in economic prosperity of Silicon Valley was possible because of that. So that's the wrong message. Many say the removal of the statue is just the beginning of change. The lesson is, is to activate change, to listen to public comment. It's a little bittersweet for those, the people that um, talked about this for 30 years that are not with us here today. Now, Maria, is this a done deal or does the city need to take more steps? Yeah, it'll go on to the Arts Commission next month. They'll make the final decision, and if it gets the green light, this is not an easy task. They'll have to barricade the road and shut down at least one lane of traffic. Wow. Liz? All right, Maria. Thank you.